Hello and welcome to HXGN TV, Hexagon's online channel for our global network of brands. I'm your host, Kathleen McNeil, and today I'm here with Carol Lockhart, who is owner and hydrographer of Geomatics Data Solutions. Carol, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kathleen. Well, to start, can you tell our viewers a little bit about your firm and your background? Certainly. Uh, myself and actually all of the owners at Geomatics Data Solutions have been working in the marine survey field, so the bathymetric survey field basically, for over 18 years now. And we got it, started getting involved mostly on the acoustic side at first and since 2001 with bathymetric LiDAR. Geomatics Data Solutions itself started in 2009 mostly as a processing and consulting shop to do marine, acoustic, and LiDAR processing. And in more recent years, we've invested in equipment so we can move into the acquisition end of that processing as well. So three years ago, we bought our own multi-beam suite and acoustic data collection system. And of course, last week, we bought our own Corruptra too, which we're very excited about. Wonderful. Well, um, can you discuss any trends in today's market and things that might be changing your business? Yes. It's interesting. The technology in the bathymetric LiDAR market space tends to drive the, uh, the client's desires and the market itself more than what clients are actually asking for. And in the past, bathymetric LiDAR collected data, it didn't deliver as dense a data as clients wanted for certain projects. Now with these newer sensors, we have denser data, we have more accurate data, and more fully functional systems. And they're also more stable and more reliable. And so clients that were once hesitant to use bathymetric LiDAR are now more interested in that because they can get the denser and more accurate data they want. And it fills the gap perfectly between zero and 10 meters where acoustic data collection be becomes very inefficient and very expensive to do. Absolutely. Well, you just mentioned your exciting new purchase of the Corrupt Terra <laughs> yes. 2. Um, can you discuss a little bit what you think the impact is going to be on your business and some of the benefits of that product? Yes, I think uh, we have been doing a lot of processing with bathymetric LIDAR over the last few years. We're excited to now be able to start bidding on projects to do acquisition. Uh, we do see a lot of clients interested the more traditional clients have been government clients. We see a lot of interest from them that we now have a new sensor and hopefully we will start working more with them, both in the US and internationally. But some other clients that are now interested in using the technology, which we haven't really seen before, are companies which install cable routes across, uh, across oceans. Um, they have to do shallow water landings and a lot of times that's inefficient to do with boats. And they're starting to get interested in the technology, so we're starting to talk to them because they're existing clients about using this, this technology, which is new for them. Uh, also, some oil and gas clients that we work with are starting to see this as a good use of technology in shallow water for exploration, which hasn't really been done so much in the past other than, other than in the Middle East. But we're starting to see interest in that in other parts of the world now, too. So for us, it helps us expand products to our existing clientele, as well as new, newer clients as well in the topo LiDAR market, which we haven't really done much with in the past. Absolutely. Well, I know you're excited to get it going. Do you have any projects coming up that you can specifically speak about how you're going to use it? We actually, yes, we have a project starting later this week, which will be our first project with the new sensor. And it's actually a topo LiDAR only uh, project. So, so it's a little different for us, right. um, but it's a, it's the topo LiDAR in the sensor is a fully functional topo LiDAR uh, producing high density data at 500 kilohertz. So we're excited to actually go and do that and do something, do something relatively new for us as well. Very exciting. So what was it that led you to choose uh, this product over some of the other stuff that might be on the market? Yeah, we've used all of the systems that are available out there and we ended up working mostly with Leica and the Corruptra 2. And what I've seen from the sensor is it is the most stable and reliable bathymetric LiDAR sensor I have ever worked with. They've always, uh, in the past, been more research-based, more academic-based, and kind of niche systems. And there's enough corruptors out there now that it's becoming more of a commodity. They're more stable. They're more reliable. So that was a big thing for us. Um, we also felt that the, uh, the power usage of the sensor fills the gap between land and again the acoustic base since we do do acoustic surveys as well we didn't feel the need to have a sensor that that went deeper 
but we did feel a need to have a sensor that got to at least that 10 meter mark. Um, something that got to only, only three or five meters wasn't going to cut it for us. So it, in that aspect, it was the right sensor for us. Well, Carol, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you. And thank you for watching. To learn more about Geomatics Data Solutions, visit geomaticsdatasolutions.com. And for more information on the Corrupt Terra, visit airbornehydro.com. If you'd like to watch more episodes from HXGN TV, tune in to hxgntv.com. Thanks for watching.